Welcome back, welcome back. This is still why in the morning, and we are here for the first conversation of the day. Today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday, we want to talk about the creative economy. It's all about coming up with new ideas to to boost a certain uh, area. For instance, today we have uh, Mukigi Kenneth who is the CEO and founder of Rathi Flowers uh, Kenya and he has come up with a very interesting idea where he's making beaded flowers you know boosting or supplementing what is there with the natural flowers he's making uh, beaded flowers and beaded plants and you can see it on set once they put on uh, we, uh, the long shot and it's a beautiful piece over here Ken, yes. this is lovely. Thank you. How did you come up with this? First, introduce yourself. My name is mm. Mr. Mukigi, and I'm the founder and CEO of Rati Flowers. Mm. It's a startup company, and I'm glad to be here at Y254. Wow, Karibu Sana. This is amazing. And we have photos. We will be sharing with you photos so that you see it uh, on close up. So this is very interesting. And uh, before the interview began, I had asked you, Kama, you made it, you went to school to learn how to make it and everything. You don't even know how you started doing this. T tell us a little bit about that. Ilianza, how, how can you make such a beautiful piece and you didn't go to school to make it? To start, I believe some things, they come naturally and some things also, they come just on the way. Mm -hmm. You get it? Maybe through uh, apprenticeship or maybe some just, mm -hmm. just come on the way. Like you can't just explain. Wow. And I, I can say I'm an example of that. Wow. So you can't really explain how you, you did I, this? I, I literally, even myself, <laughs> I, I just don't know how. What wow. I believe is that uh -huh. I'm just a creative person, mm -hmm. naturally, in every sector that I'm placed in mm -hmm. or I'm subjected to. I'm just creative. Wow. And what, what you studied for was? Uh, I'm a finance graduate. F finance. Yes. Very different from what you're doing now. <laughs> how did you decide then? Now that we have agreed, it, it was something that's just, it's something that's just in you. You are a creative person and you just started. But, but that not really happen. How did you start, start? But anyway, um, why did you decide to venture into this Ukacha finance or is it, are you still practicing it? I literally no, but I do study a lot. I mm. do study a lot because, because I need to understand the economics and the, f and the financial. Mm sector in the in the Kenyan economy you okay. know so that way that way I will be able to build my company mm -hmm. yes okay so it, it makes a lot of sense because you have a whole company with you and you are the founder so you need to know how to manage it right and finances is key to it so now back back again to my question because I'm still in disbelief <laughs> you know so how um how did you decide, how, how did you start exactly? Were you making small beads and then you, um, you grew in the process and you started to make flowers? What was the journey like? Take us through it. The whole idea began in 2018. Mm -hmm. I was a year student at the Cooperative University of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I came to the realization that there's no work. So, so mm -hmm. already I wanted to find an alternative because I knew the, the market is in flux mm -hmm. with so many graduates, but there's limited jobs. Yeah. So I thought to myself, why don't I come with an idea that maybe I can be an employer? Mm -hmm. So that's when I started brainstorming from everything in my head mm -hmm. and working just out. So I went to Kariako mm -hmm. and I saw how people are making the, everything just using beads. And I thought, why not, why not venture into this industry, but now come up with a different idea? Because one thing I understand, I'm not a tech guy. So I knew myself on that sector, I'm out. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. So when I went to Kariako, I just saw people were making, and mm. I bought some beads and some okay. strings. And that's when I just decided to tr try to make something. And out of nowhere, I, I can't lie to you, I made a bracelet 
Mm -hmm. I made a bracelet, a beaded bracelet. Okay. From zero. From yeah. scratch. From scratch. You just saw how people were making it. Yes. You bought your own. Yes, I, I just bought my own. Went and made it. Yes, a bracelet with with no one teaching me. Okay. So from now there on, where uh, after classes, mm -hmm. I used to like practice and maybe come up with different ideas, and that's when the beaded idea came into mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just like that. Yes. Wow, interesting how you thought you were in third year and ukaona kwenje, by the way. Si furaisi. Si furaisi, lazima nitafuta yu pesa. Yes. Wow, amazing. And you just started, you just went out. And I just went out. Uh, you've never looked back since then. So since 2018, you have been making this. And no, Rati Flowers was born uh, mm. in 2021, December. Okay, tell yes. us about it. Because be, between 2018, I was still at that year, I was still a student. So mm -hmm. I was trying to, to come up with a unique, unique product mm -hmm. out of beads. So between that period and the period when Rati Flowers was born, it mm -hmm. was just all about maybe practicing, perfecting my skills, yeah. and to know the kind of product that I want mm -hmm. to put out there into the market. Okay. Yes. And wh what would you say is unique? Because we have seen some of this in the yes. market. Uh, what What is unique about your type of beaded flowers and plants? Or how unique is it? First to start, my products are made of beads. Mm -hmm. So it has a touch of art, despite just being beautiful. Okay. Another thing is that they don't wither. You don't need to water them. Mm -hmm. to maybe to trim them also, you yeah. see? Mm -hmm. uh, so, th so that minimizes also your time. Mm -hmm. And also it will give you pleasure for a long, for a longer period of time. time. Yes. Okay. So it, it, it lasts for long. For long, you can for long, stay for, with long, it for, for long. Years. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Then, you know, look, look at that. We have pictures that will be scrolling. I don't know if... Our director has them already so that you take a look at at some of them as we continue with the conversation. They're coming to you in not too long. Okay, I think uh, we'll just wait for a little while before before it's put up. Tell us a little bit more about, uh, about when you started out in 2021. Yes. There was COVID at that time. Right. Uh -huh. So, take us through that journey. Between... Your 2021, Ulianza, yes. Uliamua, Ulkwa now, and then you decided to now major on it. Yes. Uh -huh. how, how was it? How was it like? Uh, was it tough for you? Was it easy? Did you get people to support you? One thing I believe is that when, when you begin anything, mm -hmm. uh, let's say like nobody will will jump into the ship until mm -hmm. they see that this thing has a future. Get mm -hmm. So after graduating in 2019, December, then Corona came, 2020. So I knew there, no work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So from now, 20, 2020, 2020 December, now I decided, man, you have to do this. This is now your life. Mm -hmm. And when I did my research, about the flower industry, I mm -hmm. saw that people were looking for an alternative of natural flowers. Okay. You see? So, so, so when customers or people have an alternative, I believe that's one way of building the economy. So okay. there's no mo monopoly of products. All right. And yeah. we're going to come back to, to that, building yes. the economy through. And this is the creative economy that we usually talk about. This is yes. part of it. Now we have the images for you. Are you ready for them? I believe you are. So let's take a look. Wow. So this is a plant. This is one of the plants. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you have names? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are lily plant. This is a lily plant. Well, yes. uh-huh. Quite a masterpiece. Uh huh. Next one. These are tulip, an open tulip. Open tulip. Yes. Mm hmm. These color lily, color, color lily. Color lily. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Okay. These are 
This is an orchid plant. Okay, yes. orchid plant. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is a, this is a kind of a water lily. All right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. These are napkin holders. They, oh. You can use them in hotels when holding the serviettes. Holder. Mm -hmm. Yes, the serviettes. Wow, yes. have a flower to hold your napkins. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Now this is a cactus, right. uh, it's written there. <laughs> I wanted to jump on it because at least I know a cactus plant. <laughs> Still cactus there, wow. Mm -hmm. This is a? This uh, is just an idea where I felt the canopy when they form in the forest. Okay. So, so it's just something I just thought of making a plant. Speak of creativity, all right. Beautiful. This is a kind of rose, but now a rose plant. F yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a lotus plant. A lotus plant. Lotus, lotus, lotus. Mm -hmm. This color lily. Now, this is a flower. Uh -huh. You remember back then there was a uh, color lily plant. Now, mm -hmm. this is a flower. Oh, this is a flower. Yes, this is a flower. Kind of lily flower. Okay. These are lilies. Wow. And you, that's actually water inside? Just No, it's, a, it's just a design of the vase. Oh, okay. It looks like there's water inside. I was <laughs> curious. Also a lily. Okay, but I think this is the last one that we have. This is a lily. Wow, this is amazing. Why Why do you need to, okay, we need to have natural roses, but if you want something long-lasting, then this would be the thing to go for. Do people come and buy for, you know, we associate roses with love, you know, when people buy it, buy for their partners. Do you see that a lot uh, in, like, seasons like Valentine? Do they buy such for... Because I know mostly it's for house decor and everything, but do people buy it also for as a gift to to uh, to their lover? This idea is new in Kenya, so uh -huh. with the time, I know people will mm -hmm. embrace. A lot of people will embrace this idea. Okay. Yeah. So it's fairly new in Kenya. It's fairly new in Kenya. Okay. So how? Uh, wh what would you say? How easy or hard is it now that it's a new thing in Kenya? Yes. How hard or easy is it for you to? Uh, earn through it and you know grow your business at the same time. To start, I will I will say mm -hmm. it's about the 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 person. Yeah. The person himself to have the drive to achieve whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. So I've I've had so many challenges. But at the back of my mind, I have this idea that this is a new idea in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I know with the time, people will come to know that Rati Flowers Kenya is a company that, that makes flowers using mm -hmm. beads. And slowly, people are embracing this idea. Wow. So mm -hmm. that's my major motivation behind all this. Okay, amazing. Yes. Before we went into looking at the photos, we were talking about how this will boost the economy and supplement right. natural flowers. You want to tell us more about that? Right. How do you how do you see it boosting the economy? To start, I believe the government has mm. uh, has invested more yeah. into the digital sector or their or their tech ideas. Mm -hmm. But we people in the cottage industry have been forgotten, mm -hmm. and I believe majority of Kenyans they are like hustlers. Ulema mamboga palatini. So I believe if uh, this sector can be invested more, it will create more employment. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm one of the players. The government can't create jobs. It's with the people to create the jobs. Mm -hmm. So for the government is to provide for us a, a conducive environment that our ideas as young people will flourish. So mm -hmm. that can create jobs for ourselves and also for others. Okay. Yes. So the government giving you a backing would would help at least uh, yes. the sector. Yes. Okay. All right. Interesting. Now, how do you decide? Because you have a variety of plants and fl and flowers. How do you decide on the pricing for, for or is it the same pricing for everything? N no, I have a standard price. 
Okay. Yes, and that standard price I've come to like amend it from when I started to mm -hmm. now today. Mm -hmm. Whether the economy is bad or doing good, I have the same standard price. So you don't, it doesn't fluctuate with the economy? No. If things are, so <laughs> how do you sustain <laughs> yourself then? Because don't the bids or prices also go up for something? Yes, I understand. Mm. From when we started this conversation, I told you I'm a finance graduate. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so that answers all. All right. Yes, I am yes. sorry. <laughs> okay. So that helps helps you uh, with that. Yes. Okay. Are you just are you um, now that you, it's a startup company? Yes. Are you operating it on your own, or do you have a team? Because I know for a startup, it's it's like a baby, and you need to really nurture it and hold it when it's still at it. It's its infant stage, or what stage would you say yours is? And do you have a team for it? And no, currently don't have a team. Mm -hmm. But with time, I know with more people coming in, mm -hmm. the team will grow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, it's just a baby. I'm just nurturing it. Mm -hmm. And through platforms like this one that you have offered me, of which I do appreciate a lot, it will help Welcome. people to come to, to know this idea that there's a company somewhere mm -hmm. in Kenya that's giving alternative to natural flowers. Wow, okay. Yes. And how are you also, apart from now a platform like this, what other platforms are you using to create uh, public awareness and market, uh, you know, beaded flowers and plants? Uh, through social media, because everything now it's about social media. Mm -hmm. Yes, so people can find my company, Rathi Flowers Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pin Interest also. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Do you offer customized um, orders for customers if they have something specific that they want? Do you also do customizing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I work on orders. Mm -hmm. For example, let's assume you're a client. You approach me, hire the flowers. I needed some flowers. The first thing I ask from you is, do you have that natural flower in your mind that you will want me to make or mm -hmm. replicate it into beads? Mm -hmm. So once you give me the name, yeah. I will send you a photo of, of that. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I will share more photos with you, my yeah. catalog, to maybe choose from, f from the photos, maybe the kind of flowers you want. Then after that, now it's, uh, it's up to you now to choose the kind of colors also, mm -hmm. your preference. Okay. Yes. Wow, interesting, amazing. Now for the big, uh, for the bids that you make it with, yes. do you source everything locally? Do you have things that you get from outside? And also, do you do exporting? I know you're still at its infant stage, or are you open to, to, to exporting to different places or different counties for that matter? Currently, my market base is international people. Okay, okay, so yes, my, yes. my bad. I thought <laughs> it was actually local. So your market is actually international. International. Indians and uh, the Europeans uh -huh. are at large. Okay. Yes. So that's what you do? Yes. You export it. And how is that for you? Uh, the West or abroad, people from abroad embracing this more than Kenyans? How do you see that? Or, or is it something good for you? Is it working for you better? Yes, it's working for me, uh, and I believe that with the time, Kenyans will also embrace this idea. Mm -hmm. Because through my research, I came to know that this idea is very popular in Europe mm -hmm. and America. That's after like extensive research. Wow. So I was like, yeah. I was like, let me, let me put this idea in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Is it like, for example, you travel to, to any outside country, there's exposure, but I haven't traveled in any country. Mm -hmm. So you come with the ideas. Okay. Yes. Wow. So do you have a b market base, like in India? In do, do you get orders like frequently? Do you have, you know, tell tell us a little bit about your international market. Uh, the Indian community they've supported my 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 company from when I started. Mm -hmm. The Indian community, then the European also the community also. Mm -hmm. Then for the, the Kenyans, during exhibitions, you know, you get here and there, here and there. Okay. Yes. All right. So uh, that has been since 2021 again. Since 2021. That's mm -hmm. when I began everything about Rati from, 
from finding the name of the company, mm -hmm. uh, Rati is a Sanskrit name. It's an Indian Sanskrit name, means meaning beautiful. Why did you go with an Indian name? I, it's um, be <laughs> because the market is there? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's a random uh, idea. And no, no. Mm -hmm. It's because uh, I've loved watching Indian movies. Ah, since oh. I was a child. Bollywood. Yes, Bollywood <laughs> movies. I'm a fan, a big fan, a oh. big fan, a big fan. Ah, okay. So Rathi is an Indian name. It's an Indian name. Okay. It means beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, and you, to make beautiful um, art, art for that matter again. Now, where do you see your business in the next 10 years, five years before we wrap up the conversation? Uh, in the next uh, five years, I see myself uh, distributing flowers to hotels mm -hmm. and also create a lot of employment to so many Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Because I believe every industry started from somewhere. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard it, it is, you'll get there. Wow. Yes. So you have a vision, yes, for, have a vision. For, for your company to create employment and to expand more. Expand more. How, how right. has the growth process, I think this is the, will be the last one, how has the growth, growth process been like for you since you started? Because sometimes uh, startups get, get uh, demotivated when you know, things are stagnant or are at a standstill. How did you move past it? How has the growth process, process been like for you? It's been a... Uh, uh, I've learned a lot of lessons, mm. and one thing in me is whether you get an order or not, keep doing that thing. Keep doing, keep doing, keep posting those products. Mm. Whatever you have in mind, keep doing, keep doing. Yeah. People will come. You can't change people, but you can change yourself. And through you, people will come along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's a, every day, wake up, do this, do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. Yes. So no matter the no time, matter no what. matter the situation, yes, yes. keep on doing what you're doing. Yes, because I know th there's hope in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Amazing. I think that's a good way to end it. Thank you very Thank you. much, Ken. I also appreciate it. And we wish you the very best in it. We hope that you get the uh, necessary support. And that we hope that Kenyans will actually embrace this because it's a beautiful kind of art and supplementing natural flowers. I mean, you can put this in your house and... Let it look beautiful or you can put the plants in your house and, you know, beautify your place, your space. Uh, this has been a wonderful conversation with Mukigi Kenneth, the CEO and founder of Rathi Flowers Kenya. Rathi is an Indian name meaning beautiful. I hope you have taken something from it. If you are a startup, I hope you feel inspired to keep moving no matter the situation. At the end of it, it will pay off. That is one of the conversations we have on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. More is to come, so stick with us. See you on the other side of the break.